It's so good. So do you. Justin, I can't believe this day is finally here. The day that I've been dreaming and praying about since I was a little girl. Today will mark one of the best days of my life because it's the day I get to the honor of becoming your wife. From the moment I met you, I knew you were special. You have a way about you that's unlike anyone I've ever met. Your smile has the ability to light up any room you walk into, and your laugh is contagious and will always be one of my most favorite sounds. Tabitha, I cannot believe we're here. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. Today, I get to promise myself to you forever. You, you are my biggest blessing, my biggest supporter, my sunshine on a bad day, my motivation, and most importantly, you are my person. We are gathered here together in the sight of God and all of these witnesses to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. to be marrying a woman who loves me the way you do. Your love for me is evident in everything you do. I truly believe you were made for me and I for you. You make me the best version of myself and my life would be incomplete without you. I've been married to you in my heart long before today. I prayed for you long before I ever knew you. The love I have for you is unexplainable, and I truly thank God every day for giving me a person I can love with my whole heart for the rest of my days. Who presents this woman to be married to this man? Not her mother. I charge you both as you stand here in the presence of God and in these witnesses that if you will keep the holy covenant that you are about to make, then God will bless your marriage. He will establish your home and he will keep you in peace. I vow to always keep our marriage pure. I vow to always be your rock when you're overwhelmed and a shoulder to cry on when there's nowhere else to go. I vow to honor and respect you and to commit myself to you and only you. I vow to encourage and support you and to help lead our family. I vow to challenge you to be the best version of yourself. I vow to pray for you daily and to always keep God at the center of our marriage. And I promise to become a better cook. I can't promise it'll always be edible, but I promise that I'll try. I will always admire you and I will love you until my last breath. Love to have. I vow to always love and cherish you through whatever this life might throw at us. And last of all, I'm about to always give you five more minutes. I now pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no man separate. Justin, you may kiss the bride. It is my great pleasure to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Justin Fox. <laughs>